No more Chinese English. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Kent. Let's welcome Tommy and Sandy. We're going to play some guessing games together. Hi. Hello. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Hi Kent. Kent. <clears throat> Let me show you how to play the game first. I know. First, we'll watch a short video. Then the video pauses and we guess what will happen next. And you're going to write it down, okay? okay? Okay! The one with the most marks will win a small prize. Yes! Let the game begin! Guess what will happen next? Someone will listen to the phone. Someone will answer the phone. Okay, I have two answers here. Sandy, can you explain your answer? Yes. To answer the phone means to pick up the phone and speak. Is that what you mean too, Tommy? Ah, yes. Pick up the phone and speak. Let's see. Hello. Hi, Amy. How are you today? Well, Sandy has two marks, and Tommy has one. I'm sorry. Why? It's because you used the wrong word. We don't say listen to the phone in that situation. It sounds like you're changing what you think in Chinese into English word by word. That's not a good way to speak in English. Oh, I have this dictionary to help me. Look, I type what I think in Chinese, then the English comes out. But be careful. It's not always correct. Let them show you how to use the words listen to correctly. I'm listening to pop music. Listen to this. I like listening to the radio. Listen to this. Wishes for the project at a legislative council. Tommy, if you listen to the phone, it means you just listen. You don't pick up the phone and speak to the caller. Oh, that's not what I meant. When the telephone rings, I go and answer the phone. That's right. Learn to use the right words to describe an action in English. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. yeah! What will you do then? Answer the door. Open the door. Okay, let's see. Hi, 
Judy. Hey, thanks. How's it going? I'm fine, thank you. Come on in. All right. Excellent. Both of you are right. Yes. Yes. Either answer the door or open the door. Tommy, I'm glad you used the word answer in this situation correctly. Thanks. I'm happy when I can answer your question correctly. Hey, two points for each of you. Shall we move on? Guess what she will do then? She'll read books hard for the exam. She'll study hard for the exam. Look what the girl will do. Wow, there are many things to do. She isn't just reading books, Tommy. She's studying hard for the exam. Read books hard is something like Chinese English to you? It's Chinese English, Tommy. Try not to speak Chinese English. Learn the exact way of saying things in English. But how? Read more. Use a good English dictionary. Study the examples of use of words. And you're always welcome to learn English with us here. How many marks do I have now? Six. Here's a little prize for you, Sandy. Thank you. So if you want to speak better English, you have to study hard too. Always check with your teachers when you have a question. Got it. How about one more game? I want to learn more. Why not? Let the game begin. This time, one of you will pick a card. Look what's written on it and then act it out. And the other one has to guess and tell what he or she is doing. Yes, let me do the acting. I can act well. Fine. Pick one, Sandy. Can you tell what she's doing, Tommy? That's a box. TV set. Okay, she's opening the TV. Is he correct? It should be turn on the TV. My little brother always tells me to open the TV and I understand him. No more Chinese English, please. In English, we say turn on the TV when we want to watch it. Let them show you some examples of how to use the word turn. Turn on the lights please, Mom. It's hard to read here. Turn the lights on. I'm taking a nap. Turn off the lights, please. Don't turn the lights off. I'm reading. 
Turn them on. Turn them off. We can also say, turn on the computer. Turn off the computer after work. Turn is a very useful verb. I turn on the tap to wash my hands and turn off the tap after washing them. Now Tommy, do you still want to play? Of course! Let's swap. Fine. Let's begin. It's a window. He's opening the window. To let air in. Good. And now he's closing the window. Well done, both of you. Congratulations. Let me open this drawer to get your prizes. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, boys and girls. Learn the exact way of saying things in English. No more Chinese English. Learn with us some clear and simple English whilst playing games. Until we meet again, study hard. See you next time. <laughs>